Today is uh, August 8, 6, about 6 p.m. The entropy surgery has been done under GA and the chow chow had also been neutered. Now you can see post op, the eyelids have been rolled outwards and actually you can see very uh, much clearer. You can see his, his eyes. And uh, so far, so good. Instead of half closed, or actually his eyes were three quarter closed. Now, what happened was this dog was abandoned by several owners until the recent one adopted him. Now, what happened was he had two eye ulcers, and uh, this entropion must have been quite long. This dog's around three years old. Three years old, a nice dog. And uh, and the whole eyelids were infected. There was, there, there, there were two cornea ulcers as well, and uh, each eye has one cornea ulcer, and there were discharge and infection. So, so as you can see, it's still quite painful. So I wouldn't touch him. And uh, he'll be going home soon. He'll be on painkillers. Now it will be difficult for the owner to put eye drops and eye ointment because obviously he's, he's a very nervous dog as well. Now I'm just seeing, uh, be doing the results of the entropion surgery about one hour after surgery. And uh, you can see the eyes are opened. Now the, the, the strip of of the upper and lower eyelids have been cut off, and uh, after that, the the eyelid the the the. Uh, after the cutting out of a strip, the elliptical strip of the eyelids from eyelid margin, the, the stitches are sutured using absorbable sutures. You can see the eye ulcer on the left eye now. And on the right, there is an eye ulcer as well because this, this entropion has been going on for three years or more as the dog was abandoned and nobody wanted him except the present owner and uh, when he came here about three weeks ago he, his practically eyes were all closed and fully infected a blood test shows shows that uh, the white cell counts were high and he had actually a, an infection of the bloodstream and after antibiotic treatment and eye, eye ointment according to the owner the dog became more lively and active and add more and uh, he could open his eyes maybe about uh, not, not as white as now he could open his eyes about uh, a bit more and uh, has then before treatment with antibiotics and eye, eye drops and eye ointment but now today it, after the surgery you can actually see especially on the left eye he had this long-standing ulcer, cornea ulcer, which is a pink, which is a pink uh, lump of flesh. You can see that, and that that will be very, very, very long. So this could be a test. Des Desimetosil. Early on, that was the left eye, and then now you see the right eye the right eye, it has an ulcer as well on the lower part of it at 6 o'clock but uh, it's not so obvious now the thing is for entropion surgery the owner would like to rush into it but actually it's best to give a course of antibiotics hello. good antibiotics, hello can come in? yeah come come and uh, so, so with antibiotics now uh, the, the treatment 
Yeah, so you can see it better. And uh, so we have to wait for another 10 days. Uh. Come, you want to go home ready? Now you'll be on painkillers. Now I don't know how you're going to put eye drops now because he's very, uh, of course now he's very sensitive. Huh? He can't touch his eyes uh, because he's, he's sensitive. So we gave him the painkillers as well. And uh, so far his eyes looks good. Huh? So I drop three times a day if possible, if not two times, uh, to clear the, the dirt. Did you see the ulcer? The ulcer is already there for a long time, especially the left eye. Uh. There's one red spot there. Uh. So don't allow him to, to go out because he's sensitive to sunlight. Because of the ulcer. <coughs> uh, although the first vet has given penicillin much earlier. So he can go home. Uh, uh. And see him in 